welcome and thank you for joining us on this episode of Off the Pitch with TK. This is our YouTube channel, TK Sound and Visual TV. If you haven't subscribed, please remember to subscribe, like, and comment on our videos. My name is TK and I'll be your host for this season. Our guest today is a former Super Sport United, Moroga Swalos, Val Professional, Umtada Bushbacks, and Bafana Bafana International, Peter Faya Khobane. Faya, how are you? Ah, but TK can't complain. Welcome. Come on, how are you? Yeah. How's life? Oh, getting better by the grace. Uh, but I'm happy that I'm alive. Mm -hmm. You know, it's difficult, but we're hanging in there. What's important is life. What's important is life. Mm -hmm. Fire! Yo, Tiaka, we just know fire is from Val, but Val is broad. Yes. In which area of Val are you from? Uh, I'm from Shavir. Uh, Pelandava. Black Round, we have James. Uh, Black Colosa Emanuele. 1972. The 12th of April, 11 o'clock. We'll see. You know the time? Yes. You were told? I know the time. And you had to believe when they tell you? No, no, I didn't So, get it. So, why are you going to go to Pro Side? Uh, since I'm out here in Shaville, but I'm going to go to Shaville. So, uh, my, par my father is from Copis. My mother is from Shavu, so they bought a house called Spokane. So we stayed in Spokane, and uh, because uh, uh, Val professionals beat me a Shavu, in the past it was a fail. It was difficult for one to play for for Val professionals as such as uh, Shavu. So now in that time, Val came to Guaza Luvono. We not Shavu. We did not see the hall of Shavu. So we are not Bradon, Bulogo. So we are not going to be able to get the ball. Because we are players in the two legs, we are not going to be able to get the ball. We are not going to be able to get the ball. We are not going to be able to get the ball. We are not going to be able to get the ball. We are not going to be able to get the ball. And then I was told to get the ball. We are not I went for training. Yeah, unfortunately, on the day in Rabangata. So I didn't even give, I was not even given the chance to get a try. There was a coach in the Antony Eshet. That's why Ethiopia. Then, not the following day, I went back. So, fortunately, on the one on that day, I was like, I'm going to get 11 against 11. They are preparing for weekend. Uh, it was on Thursday, I remember. So, what all around the reserve team shot a player a one, mm. but what against the first team? So I, I, I was given a chance, give up a little more, and I impressed the coach. The guy like a coach said, "Fidili, tapi," and I'm putting a coach who gave a lot of esma, come Jeta. I got him a one of the first team. Re, when the first team in a little reserve, so when I. I So I used boots yam to moon cover And the following day I was signed. How old were you by then? I was twenty-five. Okay. I was twenty-five. No development, no reserve team, straight first team. Straight professional. I you know that was not my first uh, contract actually. Mm -hmm. I I signed with uh, Morocco Solos in nineteen ninety ninety-four. Yes, 1994 I signed with uh, Solos. Uh, mm. By then, in the end, I was Chavi. But unfortunately, I got a lot of like, Negina did the Cox, the Solos, Copa Mundialis, Kipas, Solos, and the Bechia, Solos, Trek Sutu. And you know how they signed me. Mm. I told you to sign a magic next time I get the same match. Mm. Uh, by then, in the end, a, 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 a medializing officer, wa, ya, ya, ya Solos. And Justin Jan Tabuka, I didn't know the contract I didn't know the whole of guy. And I stayed uh, first month, second month, third month. I'm not playing, I'm not getting paid. Because stop away until I got this contract. Mm. So 
this three months we are gymming our whole our every day. We are going to take some more catcher there. I was traveling with uh, Johannes Mine, Piruto Tetsi, Nebana Lukolo, because no one could live by hearing them from this side. They were in training, mm. so they would pick me up, get some my level mm. every day. How about Jimmy Gajimi? I could be fed up a hole and knock a hole. How would you? That the May his soul rest in peace. Yeah. But in the old, he, he, he knew football better than me uh, at that level. Mm. Yes. Now, what did you say? I can stop. I want to I went to school in 95. Yes. So that time when you focus on football, you were not going to school? Yes, man. It's a little bit tricky. Oh. Yeah, because. Uh, Kimo old, pretty metric ka ninety, nekin wala ka ninety one. Hmm. Metric. So how so shall we tell Jimmy Aba phone Aba but share the other players who are Peter guy? No, they're not losing anything anyway. Hmm. So azang, azang. Okay, now you are at Val Pros. O sign ne contract. Yes. Wao la no. Yeah. Wao la shall love guy. Hmm. I never know that. Ne one thousand five. Yeah. Yeah. No, gana ko ni lenga. Yeah, you'd say that. Like, hang out. Huh. Oh? Hmm. But hang out. Hmm. I want, what do you mean? Yes, come back around there, come on and hang out. But in terms of a footballer, I was hmm. not supposed to be earning that much. Yeah. Footballers cannot be earning that much. Yes. Like, there was somebody, I nearly died. I nearly fainted. One of our pro. One of our pros. That yeah. guy was uh, coming from vets. Uh, Sydney, Sydney, mm. Sydney, Sydney. I saw his pay slip, 8,000. Yo, I was playing regularly mm. than him, I know. Mm. But, mm. but, yo, I, I couldn't believe, like, I'm earning 1,005. My friend was earning 2,000. Mm. <clears throat> we were from one team. Mm. We were signed in the same year. But, you know, he was earning 2,000. Now I was earning 1,005. Now I see somebody who found me there is earning 8,000. Mm. So it was not. It was not. I got to signing one fee yeah. on top of it. I didn't know anything. Like from dusty grounds, dusty streets to professional. Mm. Just like that. You are excited. Mm. Hooray, I'm a professional footballer, you know? So by that time, you uh, have cash or buy Kenya account or account vlog. I don't know how to check him. Yeah, the check. Yeah. This abounds. And the check it, let me say, I know what to do. Okay. And this I know again that the Chabi, the Dennis. Now that you know what Dennis was a team manager or what, I didn't know his position. Mm. But he would sign, that the Chabi then I signed. And the Galta Tin and Fella would give us checks to sign him to one, you know. Mm. We might have a bank in five to four. Mm. Off a check, you might have a bank in half the money. Yeah, bounce. I ah, signature. They know it's gonna bounce. Like negative. They would pay few mm. and not paying few because maybe they may make a grant or never is a charity. I so feel. Man, what's the okay? Now six thousand. We can't pay everybody. Okay. I have my copants. Maybe I the senior players. Yeah. Then Rona, when we get to the bank, <laughs> ah, signature. Ah, in. So now from Val Pros, we are guy. I get clock of uh, we we were playing our last game, go come to the mm. pushbacks. And we we the the the, the week before we played Sundowns. Mm. The last game. Second last game. And Sundowns was looking for tre treble. They were supposed to be winning treble yeah, ball. Our winner game yeah, wrong, but, but we not treble. And the coach came um Raul Gonzalez was our Mario Tuan was our coach, and Raul Gonzalez was uh, our uh, 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 what assistant coach. And we were told, Rayvan, there's something for you if you lose this game. Rosetta got two games, like we are relegated already. Rosetta got two games, and here's twenty thousand. Kekola one thousand five. So somebody tells me, Rikito five thousand. If we can make this dream, this treble possible. So you must lose the match, delivery? Obviously. Hmm. We are relegated already. It's two games. After this Sundowns game, we are playing uh, Umtata Bucks. Hmm. 
win, lose, we are going down the drain. So this is like a ballot exhibition is for specific players or is for the whole team, each member of the team? No, the, 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 the assistant coach came to me. Mm. So the ก็ตัวเรื่องอะไรเต็งกี้ซื้อกาลอกเฉยๆฟอร์วาร์ดเซคันด์อัพเซคันด์อัพฟอร์วาร์ดซันดาวน์สวินส์เดอะทริบูป
Mm. You know, from zero to 15,000, that's too much. Yeah. From 1.5 to 7.5, that is too much. Mm. Yes. Then you played how many seasons at Bushbacks? I played for nine months. Mm. I nine played months. for nine months. Yeah, mm. nine months. Mm. Then we had a fight with um, uh, the owner, the Den Basia, the father of Sturu. Mm. Yeah. Uh, he wanted to talk about my family affairs in front of my teammates and the supporters. Then I said, no, no, no. Chairman, number one, you, you, this is a hearsay. You can't be talking to me about a hearsay as if you know, like in front. You should have called me first, discuss it with me. Then I will, uh, I'll, you know, I will, I, will, I will understand maybe. But now he was saying uh, we lost 4-1. We beat, uh, 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 we were playing against Sundowns. We beat them 4-1. Then we went to play Amazon in Devon. We lost. You know what happens? In you, 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 you'll check. It's still happening even today. When you play midweek, you play the one of the toughest games midweek. Yeah. When you go play uh, 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 on okay. the, on the weekend, you beat the big you beat the big team during the week. Weekend you playing whichever team, you are going to lose because it takes a toll. Like you're giving your best, you want to beat the best. But when you get somewhere against uh, any other team, then you lose. We lost against Amazon. Then they were saying, uh, we sold the game. We didn't play well. Then he wanted to bring this issue that he had about, about me and my family. That, yeah, we had to lose because this and that. Then I started to say, no, 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 raise my hand and say, Chairman, please, you can't discuss my family issues here. And you can't be saying, I made the team lose. I carry one of the there are reserves. If I was not performing, I should have been pulled out, put in somebody who can play better. Hence, we have in the bench. So, what's the bench for? Mm. Ah, from there, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, squabble. Hey, Hamba and Zabeta, what, 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 I know it's fine. I'll go. I went to the uh, a flat, to my flat. Mm. Like 15, 20 minutes later, mm. we had to go to training. When I go, the driver gave me the letter. I read the letter. I'm suspended. Mm. Immediate effect. Immediate. With immediate effect. Okay. Waited. They summoned me to the DC. When I get to the DC, I was there with my wife as my witness. If you say I fought with my wife and my wife is my witness now, I don't know who are you going to bring as your witness. So I won the case. Mm. But I was found guilty for confronting the chairman in front of everybody. Mm. So, so the, the chairman's confrontation to you was you lost because allegedly you fought with your wife. Yes, that's why we lost the game. And then on the case you come with your wife, the wife says, I never fought with you. No, no, I said, no, no, it was like any other couples, they argue. We were arguing, yes. We were not, there's a difference between a fight and argument mm. or disagreement. Mm. So then when you look at it, you were used as a scapegoat for that. Debate. Exactly. You know, these people, they always want you to keep quiet. And uh, yes, I will keep quiet for something that is right. But if something does not sit down, go down well with me, or I see oh, this is wrong, yeah. I'll always raise my views and the way I see it. Because uh, 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 Sturu had a, had a fight, like physical fight with his wife the night before the game. Mm. I saw it. I saw it, they were, nobody told me, like chairman was told, but he didn't blame the manager. He wanted to blame me for the loss of the team. I didn't want to say it in front of Sturu mm -hmm. because I respected him. I couldn't do what I don't want. To, uh, 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 I was uh, reprimanding the chairman not to do that. Mm -hmm. So I kept quiet, then I left. So I, I, I went to the DC. When you get there, ah, uh, not guilty. Mm -hmm. It was maybe at one, two o'clock the case was done with. Mm. I went to training. When I get there, when I'm still training, the chairman calls the coach, tells me not to train. Mm. The coach calls me, the chairman calls, says you must, you must not train. Mm. Now so what's I, next? I sat, I sat, I sat at, at home and I didn't feel safe in Mtata. You know Mtata is dangerous. Mm. Mm. Then you came back. I stayed, I stayed, because, you know, uh, at the back of my mind, I was thinking, if I come back, they will say I went AWOL, 
and I was not going to find a team. Mm. I stayed, and now uh, when you while you are staying, do you go to training and just sit outside? I don't. I don't even go to training. You stay in your flat. Yes, because I was told by the coach not to train. The chairman said I must not train. So I have a witness. Even if they say I went all or mm. I'm not training, mm. I have a witness, mm. which is the coach. Mm. So I stayed at my flat. The guys would go and now sit, stay home, watch Mnet. Mm. So uh, until I get a letter that. Uh, no, no, they didn't give me any. They said they don't want me anymore. I can go. Mm. So I came back home. But when I'm home, I'm saying, but these guys, they can easily say I went AWOL. Mm. I, I, I flew back to Mtata. I had a meeting with Stu and I asked him, since you're saying I must go find a team of my own, uh, why don't you give me a letter? At least as proof so that you guys cannot say I went AWOL because they were still paying me. Mm. And he said, no, you can go. But fortunate enough, I had a recorder. Mm. I, put, I put it in my pocket. In the yeah, pocket. Yeah. Then I, I spoke to him. He told me, no, you can go. I said, but why don't you write me a letter? He said, no, we, we are not going to say you went a wall, whatever. So I, 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 I said to myself, okay, if they come up with strategy story, they're not paying me because I went a wall, I will really, I will release the, yeah, the, 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 recording. the recording and say, ah, yeah, it is. Hmm. So fortunately, they didn't do anything. I went to, to I went back home. Hmm. There was this guy who was working for Kickoff Magazine. He was from Holland. His name is Ernest Landier. Hmm. He was working for Kaiser Chiefs recently, but he's, he went back to Holland. Hmm. Uh, because he, he came to Umtata and I was the one who was friendly with him. I told you now about Mahuan Rad. Hmm. He, he just liked me. Just like Narin Tui, we are attracted to Maho. Yeah, he liked me. So I was telling him, this is uh, Patrick Mayo, this is Cyril Nzama, Clement Mazibuko, this, that, that, you know, mm. introducing the team. Then he came back to Pretoria. He was staying in Pretoria. So he was a friend to Thomas Marikha. Mm. And now he heard that, hey, I don't have a team. He called me, said, hey, when, what happened? I hear, I hear that you are no more with pushbacks. I said, yeah, I'm, I'm home. He said, no, I'll talk, I'll, I'll talk to Thomas. He's my friend. Mm. Then I'll call you tomorrow. Then I said, no, thanks, please. He spoke to Thomas. Then I had to go to Pretoria. Mm. I spoke to, I met with Thomas. He, he knew me. I stayed in Pretoria for some time. When, during those days when I was, uh, there was this okay league thing. Mm. I was playing for Pretoria Achilles. Mm. So we were staying in, in the same street with Thomas Manchak. Mm. Like few houses, three or four houses mm. from Thomas. Yes, I was staying there. So he knew me, but not that much. So when I met him for the second time, then he's, things were not much difficult. He said, ah, no, it's okay. Now I want to play for, they said I must go look for the team of my choice. Mm. I found the team of my choice, which is super sport. Mm. And uh, when Supersport wanted to sign me, they spoke to uh, uh, Bushbacks. Bushbacks told them that they sold me to Celtics. How? Now you are, you are sold to Celtics, but you were never told. I was never told. My clearance is already with Celtics. Then? Celtics is fighting relegation. Mm. Supersport is on top of <laughs> Celtics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was with John Meade there. Uh, Pizzo was still there. Thomas was there. Ronnie Zondi was there, um, David Notwan was there. I'm mentioning these guys because they are the ones who were behind the South African football players, you know. Mm. So they told me that, ah, don't worry, you want to play for this team? I said, yes. They said, no, stay here. Mm. I said, but the clearance is to uh, Celtics. They said, no, no, the clearance will play for Celtics. You will play for uh, 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 Supersport. You, yeah. you, you got the team that you wanted to play for. How much did you sell me for? Did, to to Celtics, mm. hundred and twenty thousand. Now Supersport wants me; they want three hundred thousand. Mm. I mean, now do you see you? Right? So now, isn't now the logic is that they will refund Celtic the hundred and twenty thousand and profit hundred and eighty thousand? But there was profit in that hundred and twenty thousand. You know, there was still profit. Yeah. And then I didn't go. I told them straight as you said, I must look for the team of my choice. Mm. I found it at Super Sport United and I'm staying here. I'm not going there. Mm. Because when I called Datim Limela, mm. 
may you soul rest in peace too. He told me, hey, Peter, hey, Peter, hey, I was earning 7.5. I told me, 15. 15. I was I was then signing one fee, I book a pinnacle signing on three taboo. I on a move, I give no, I'm staying here. Kadula mm. was super sporty. The, then super sport said, Okay, fine. Bang, 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 sign a galo. Mm. Next set got two seasons go, go push back or push back. So the first season, Banlona with that option on sign. Mm. Then I stayed Katala first year. Then Gasaka, the last year then that's where the three thousand was paid three hundred thousand was paid uh kakasaina link to the super sport the super sport now you're a super sport now i am super sport when you go there who's the coach bruce Hobble. was bruce Hobble by yes. that yes and you played under him for how many seasons Didn't one one season one I season think, yeah because the the following season we were nearly relegated mm. then the following up I, I think it's two seasons mm. yes I played as a uh, Cologne mm. and I played as a Van mm. Then Avatama. Mm. That's when Peter took over. Mm. Yes. So now, go Super Sport now, you are their player. Mm. You are moving from Bushbacks at the 7.5 package. Mm. And and this 7.5, is it a take home or is it a cross? Hey, you know, Bushbacks, it was a take home. You know how, the, how, how, how we got paid? Never far. A, a certain money cash, mm. certain money ka bank. Mm. I get to buy a taxi. What 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 what? I run a we are clueless. We are can't do that taxi. In but we are born or we are born. Today na the yeah. I read them. So we are we are tax. So never for sure. Then super sport you have got no. Super sport I was getting ten thousand. Mm. Yeah. Signing on fee thing before before tax it was mm. ten thousand before tax. So man, how is she? Mm. Mm. It's still 7.5. But I'm a side so man, they are just in there. Yeah. They are giving me the back of the hand. Yeah. Uh, like, oh, so fine. One fast signing one fee uh, 20,000. And at least I stayed out. Uh, okay, sharp. Mm. Uh, but you know, I was happy at Super Sport. Like, it's, it was like the color of a professional. Mm. No feel like now I was I'm a, in professional. a professional setup. Mm. You know, because le hike fit like it's all bush bags, it's all train alone. Never mm. said, boots are going to fail, little feel, boots are feel, that's a fair delay. Like, and I got a kid from an amateur team. Mama, then there I started to see your organization, like Sudi, the t shirt, the boots, you know, get multi stats for soft and hard pitch, mm. you know, things like those. All along, no side it's very lucky. No, no, so it's a boot fail or soft. He pull a yarn and watch it. Using one boot mm. until fail. I was saying, no, I'm not going to go for you. But at Super Sports back in age, it was, it was organized. When you are getting paid on a certain date, you are getting your money then. You don't call, you don't do it. There's transport picking you up, you know? Yeah. There was there was that thing. Now, now I'm a professional footballer. You start feeling old. I'm a professional footballer. Yeah. Yeah. You start to understand or why how you must be treated. Exactly. Hmm. Now you start to see your value. You hmm. know? Yeah. And then now Super Sport you played for how many seasons? Now Pizzo takes over. Pizzo takes over, yes. After Bruce. After Bruce. Yeah, two years kill more after Bruce. Then it's Pizzo. Yeah. And then your can your contract gets renewed. It gets renewed. You are negotiating the package again. The new package. Does it get better or is that still you know what is yeah, better? Yeah. Better it's from one to two. Mm. That's that's football. That's that that's how it works. Mm. You know, and they they uh, uh, my time uh, they always have reasons why they're giving you what they're giving you, mm. and they make you understand. Mm. You know, mm. and you 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 end up understanding mm. even if you don't, but you you you, you find yourself also agree. You compromise. With whatever they, you compromise yourself, mm. your needs, your mm. family, and all that. But at that time, you are not aware that you might be, uh, you might regret later because you are you are playing at your peak, generating revenue for the team, but you are not getting paid the way you're supposed to be paid. So that maybe later on you are still okay. That's the thing. You you think maybe next time it will be better. 
Mm. You keep thinking. You know when you are playing, you think you'll play forever. Mm. You always say, ah, my next contract will be better. Maybe my next contract will be better. That's what you keep telling yourself. Mm. But now, Pizzo takes over. You guys started winning cups. I'm sure now the bonuses, they come and then they improve on the financial aspect of things. That's one thing that made Supersport to be called the giant killers, uh, cup specialists, what? Because that's where we were making our money. Mm. They, they tell you straight, if you win the trophy, 50% mm. goes to the players, 50% goes to the management. Mm. So you know what you're playing for. When you're playing uh, the, 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 the cup games, you, you go all out. You want to win them because you know what's in there. Quick money. It's quick money. Now, at that time, we know the pizza now. At that time, how is pizza as a coach? Look, you know, like any other body, first year, okay? We, 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 we. Mm. Second year, I, 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 you know? It, it, it went to the uh, 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 point where he was, he would tell you that I'm paying you, what, 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 you know? Mm. Now he's paying us. Like before, when he started, it was a teamwork, team effort. We must do this, we must do that. We, we, we reduce the rights and so on. Mm. But second year, he started, you know, now it's him. Mm. Everything is about him. He, he didn't sleep, he didn't do this, he didn't do that. The whole night he was planning, you know. So now we started, we started feeling, or well, now we're having a boss. Mm. Yeah, he started being a boss. Mm. Yeah. And that, in a way, started affecting performance on it some of did, the guys. Because now, you know what, it, it, we find ourselves in our corners talking about the coach bet. Hey, this guy thinks he's better. This guy, look, one thing I will tell you now, mm. Pizzo is the best coach. Best, co as a coach, he's the best. He's the best coach. Best coach I've ever seen. I, always, I told people that he was going to win the CAF mm. Champions League when he was at Sundowns. I told them because I know him. Pizzo studies football like he doesn't sleep. He's so addicted to football. He knows everything. He knows every player. And I think now he knows every player in Egypt. He know that guy loves football. He's passionate. Mm. But one thing, he, he, he does not care. Hanabut, his personality is not right. Mm. Truly speaking, he's, he's not a good guy. Yeah, because he, I don't know, he's good, he's not good. Pito is this kind of a person who wants to to be in the picture. When you talk, you, you must you must put, he wants to be part of the ingredients. When you talk of your success, mm. he must be there. You must always, you know, mm. he wants that. That's, that's Pito for you. If you say, I want to give a shop, you must say, but mm. if you say anything and you do anything, we had a fight with mm. Pito. Like, I was, I don't know, like, the coach Sabato was so nice. I did, I was so lucky about my Pito all the time. What was your fight about? I don't know. I bought a house with a swimming pool. Mm. Now I think I'm a, I'm a messy. I'm, you know, you, you would fight for that. I was. Mm. I had a, a house, I, I moved to another house with a swimming pool. I didn't tell him that. I don't know where he got that. But now he's telling me that. Now you have a house with a swimming pool. You think you own the world. You, are, you, are, you buy a car. Now that you bought a car, you know, you put a sticker of some, something with alcohol. Mm -hmm. he, he fights you. What is a, a drink, a fizzy drink? Mm -hmm. You are a footballer. What? what? Sometimes you'd like a sticker, not because you are, you, know, you drink, mm. but this sticker is, is like a slot. You put it in, in, in your car. Right? Yeah. And because you are no pillar, harava to Nalong Bonabat Baskin, just cool. That's the thing. Now you'd fight, you'd fight. Those were things yeah. that we were fighting for. I, we even fought for a parking. Mm. You know? Fought for a parking. With him. He had, he had his own parking. Mm. He would park there, like Temba Mguni was parking somewhere next to me. Mm. But I wanted to park where Timam Guna was parking, but I couldn't because it's his parking and now I'm parking here, he parks, he parks there. Then Temba left the team. Mm. I parked there. Mm. We had a fight. When I would see what I'll park a guy and fit, park a guy, hey, listen. Now we are fighting for parking. Mm. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, but 
Now time, time went. We on that we were okay with them. Yeah. Yeah. But at that time when you start fighting, are you still playing? I'm still playing. Regularly. Regularly. Mm. But you know what? He he didn't want to play me because look at Supersport there was a committee, mm. players committee. I was the chairman of the players committee. Mm. Just after John left, Ronnie left, when those senior players when they left, I I I I, I always been the chairperson. Mm. of the players committee the entire time i spent at super sport i was the players uh, the chairperson of the players committee we would fight with pizza for uh, the we had the rain jackets but we didn't have the pants mm. so i went to him and said pizza you know uh, when we when it's raining we we wear the, our track pants like ne? Mm. and we wear the rain jackets mm. but now when we come for the second half we are wet already. And when you say to me, I must warm up, I'm wet, I'm cold, I can't get warm. Mm. And when I get there, I take time before I get warm and performance, it dips. Yeah. So can you please talk to these guys who are sponsoring us yeah. to give us the, the pens? We had a fight. Yeah. Do you know how much is one pen? <laughs> yeah, 2.5. But I said, no, this, this is a technical sponsor. They are giving it to us. How can they give us the tops and they don't give us the... We had a fight. Hmm. You see? So a Peter is that kind of a person that you he you, you don't correct him. You you don't tell him. You know, you need to go there and kneel, pray, then you know. But if you tell you can't reason with him. Hmm. Yes, that's that's Peter for you. Hmm. Now, when and how did you leave Super Sport? Um I was not in his good books. Hmm. I remember I had two years left on my contract. Mm. We were training and I don't know what happened. What did I do? And he said, this one, I think this one is overstayed. Just want, like that. Is exact. They wanted to load me to um, Platinum Stars. Mm. I said, no, no, I don't want to load. If you don't want to use me anymore, now you must understand. I met John Meade, I met this union guys. Now I said, no, no, if you don't want to use me, Give me my clearance, give me my money, I go. I know where Platinum Stars is. Mm. I'll, I'll go myself. Mm. You don't have to worry. I'll go, I know where it is. Then I stayed. Finished and I stayed until my contract uh, ended. Not playing or playing partially? I was playing. I was, look, I was playing. There was nothing you could do. I was playing. Mm. I was playing. I had to play. Mm. Yes. Then your contract, yeah, fail. Yeah, fail. Then? He, he didn't want to renew my contract. Mm. Yes. I was 30, 33 years old. Mm. He said, I'm old. He wants to bring young blood. What, what? Fine. It's well and good. I understand. Mm. Look, that's, that's, that's a fact. You're not going to stay in one team until you die. Mm. You know? Mm. I understood. I, I left. There was a time where uh, this football magazine, La Duma, mm. Uh, I wanted to leave Super Sport. What? What is no more wanted? What? I asked him. I said, "Look, Oladuma is saying I'm leaving. Did you speak to Oladuma? Am, am I leaving? I, are you gonna extend my contract? I, I know you are staying. You are going nowhere. Mm. I, this guy is hey, just a rumor. Mm. Okay, fine. But at the end of the year, I had to go. Yeah, I was 33. Mm. I left. Mm. He wanted young blood. Mm. You know who he brought? Mm. He brought my man Pir, 32 years old. Does that mean my man is going to live again next month, next year and another young blood of 32 years? Mm. So it was too personal. It was not about age, it was not about performance, it was about me and him, personalities, yeah. egos maybe. Yeah. So now, after Super Sport, what happened? You go to another team or you said... That's, that's where I realized I had uh, a, a, something on my groin i thought i maybe had my groin and all that mm. and uh, after i left to work i sold my house i came back home mm. so i had a bit of money mm. i went to the doctor mm. and i know there was a team in Deben, Deben stars mm. they wanted me mm. the chairman called me hey i want you all that hey, i want to build a team around you he promised me heaven and earth. I said, no, no, I'll, I'll come. I'm coming. But I knew when you have the groin, man, it's, if you attend physio, it's going to take um, 
two to three weeks for mm. it to to heal. I went to the doctor. They took. Uh, I went to the physio. Mm. I was not getting better mm. for two weeks. I was not getting better. Like I was attending every day, and he he, he this lady recommended me to go to the doctor. Said no, go to the doctor. This thing, man, I I, I don't understand what's happening. I went to the doctor. When I get there, told him, man, uh, I've been attending physio for the past two months. My groin is killing me, this and that. He took the uh, x-ray. Mm. He's seeing there's nothing. Mm. Took me to the RMI. Mm. To the skin, yes. Mm. They put me in that oven here. Then they injected something on me because they, were, they couldn't see anything. But there was a problem with my crown, but they couldn't see anything. Mm. Then they said, oh, let's inject you. They injected me. And that's where they saw, like, when they made a scanner, like, there will be a, a dark part mm. on my crown. That's mm. where they see, oh, this is where the problem is. Only to find that I, I had cancer. Mm. So that was cancer? Yeah. Then from there you... That's where I, I just... They, they, the doctor just told me, Raj... I'm sorry, but this is the end of the road. Yeah. So now you must leave football. Just like that. Hmm. So during your, your playing this picture, you were, you were playing the middle. It's always tough there. I'm sure you came across a lot of battles. How are you dealing with players or planning to deal with players like Abu Chabu, Dan, Abu Steve, Chipa? You know, they were tricky players. How would you make sure that you are managing them during the games as you opponents? You know, when I played for Super Sport, I was not one of the skillful players. Mm. We had the young boys like you know, Kevin Sibeko, uh, Senki Msajwa, and Sens. You know, they were young boys who were skillful. They didn't know their story. But with me, it was about stamina and strength. And I said to myself, look, man, I, I can't compete with these boys. The only way for me to play is to make sure that I play with one of them. They they rather rotate themselves. Mm. Now nah, I must keep playing. And for me to do that, I must keep fit and I must I must I must make sure the, the, the role that I play is different to them. And guys like Eric Tinkler, John Mieti, I remember how they played. Mm. They they Linda Lazy. They were special players. That's that's when I converted myself into being that. I said, you know what, let me be a donkey. Mm. Do the, the the dirty work, win the ball, give to these guys. And they do whatever they do. Yeah. And let me be the only one who does that at the team. So I, that's what I did. Mm. And it, it worked for it, you? It worked for me. Like, I use, I use uh, 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 six stats. Mm. I get like six stats. Mm. Throughout? Yeah. And uh, Benedict Villagas, you know, you have Boja Bupule, you have Bochipa, Kulea, and many other ones. Mm. Uh, 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 None give intimidate. I cannot get a fella tanily, six stars get a cappy or give a chill of a cup in a gamba. Catch jump, get a jump, get a jump. Bauta, Tabona, but why he can go fill away that then you know, Rano, secretly legable. Everybody's asking himself, him to come on with Anna, who can't save him. Then when you get to the pitch, first take him, can Sabu Juan Buka and a plow. Juan Buele Bono Bonore, Gabelli and Kilia. Mm. You deal with them psychologically. Like, yes. You're gonna have, you're gonna have right? a quiet, peaceful day. And you tell them, oh, Raymond, <laughs> you want to play the next game. Go play there. Go, go go fetch the ball there, play so that the coach can see you are doing something. Yeah. But don't don't come. I don't remember somebody doing things. Skarango Bese, mm. the late Skarango Bese, mm. may his soul rest in peace. Mm. He's never done those things. Mm. I tell you, Papa, you want to play football. Yeah. Or you want today be the last day you play football. Yeah. So do your things there. If you want to do those things, go that side. That other final, Anna Jiga Jig Salohualela Phillips. I was on the bench. You I, on wanted, the bench. I wanted to come in. <laughs> hey, I was praying that Pito can play me on the right back. Mm. But you know, it's one of those things. Yeah. Mm. So now, uh, 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 Fire, there is, there is this perception uh, that. Footballers, Bajalaga Zaga, descended. It then Zaga go prolong, or there is, it's just a perception that we assume soccer players, Lejalaga Chele. Uh, it cannot be, Hore. 
Chini Zlatla, Mike Mangena, Max Mapunya, and like Peter Hobani. Rosala has a great and two one, even my twins are in two one. You know, if if it happens regularly, then we must make a research and find out or what is the cause. If they these guys are really using their money recklessly with girls mm. or with women, what is the cause? Why? You know, uh, there's no there's money in football, mm. but the money is not for the players; it's for the administrators. Mm. I would make you one example: if uh, TK is United mm. is sponsored by. The the, the 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 off the pitch uh, cars. Mm. The cars are not given to the players; they are given to the administrators. Mm. It's possible for that administrators to have the medical aid, mm. but the players are not having the medical. And the players are the business. They can they can get injured tomorrow. Mm. The administrator can go the flu. You know they get flu. Mm. And if the administrator is sick, the team doesn't lose anything. Everything goes normal. But if the player is injured, mm. that's the machine that's bringing in the money. Mm. But these people are not looked after. Mm. So they, they, there's money in football, but it's not for the players. Players are not are not getting paid the way they should be paying, getting paid actually. So that's why the the so in your view. Players are the bosses because they're the one that's bringing money. Without players, you won't have sponsors looking at your team. You know what's the problem? The players must know, Ori. Timmy, I'm with it to favor. Mm. And Elena, I did it to favor. Mm. It's two business people mm. negotiating a contract. Omo mm. must play his part and the other must do the same. Mara, mm. footballers, Matemana, Ari, 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 but mm. again, on the air, they are doing us a favor. Kilagi Rukista Moon, Kilagi Rukista Man, you know. Mm. And Luna should be saying, Kilagi Kitio Loon. Mm. I, I should have went the other way. Mm. I should well, be playing for Team I A. I should be playing for Team A. So, Matema Rizagari, but this is a favor. Mm. And we are getting paid for the services that we are rendering to, them. to these teams. Yeah. Mm. And, and now, where do agents feature in this whole money thing between players and, and, and team bosses? What is their role? The role of the agent is to make sure that the players agree to uh, the contract. Uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to say contract. Mm. I want to say, I don't know, for the lack of uh, better weight mm. to this rubbish that these people are giving us. Mm. They they softening us. Agents are softening players. They are facilitating exactly a rubbish. They 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 the agents they would make you feel like they have hired you, mm. and it's the other way around. You've hired this, uh, an agent to uh, 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 negotiate for you, mm. and you know there's fine print mm. to make sure that the fine prints are you understand the fine prints. And they are clear and suit you as the exactly. player. Exactly, because you should be telling them, or no, no, tell Team A, I want 1,500 a month, mm. signing one fee of 20,000, uh, performance bonus. If I play 40%, 50% of the games, I want this, ma this much, the, you know, mm. things like those. Mm. But these people will come to you and tell, ah, you know what, uh, and let's give them a chance. Let's let's take this, what they're giving us. Mm. Listen, and the problem with them is they are making money. They are mm. here to make money. Mm. Look, if you are an agent, you have six players mm. at Team A, mm. and I am fight, I'm, the, I'm your sixth player, mm. and I'm fighting with the team. Mm. Are you gonna take my side? Because you still have got five m more players in the team. In this team, yeah. you don't wanna lose. Then you wanna be able to negotiate their contract exactly. renewal. You don't wanna lose the relationship with the club. Mm. So the agents are are, are really killing the uh, 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 the players. One thing these uh, agents should do, mm. they should be saying, guys, let's, let's, let's help the players you know. Mm. The problem is that we can't solve because the, 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 the players you know uses like the blanket approach. Mm. They negotiate for all the players when mm. they negotiate. So there are problems that the agents cannot attend to. They should be saying, 
I players union come in, mm. help this guy. Now I don't want to fight against a, a TK mm. because I still have got uh, players with him. I don't want to lose relationship yakale. That's why the union will come in. Union does not have any relationship with any team. They have a relationship with the players. Mm. But is this thing of union helping? Are they are they really helping players? Uh, the unions currently because. I think there was a talk of minimum wage. I don't know if it did materialize. Is it important? Is it happening? The reason the union is failing is because, uh, you know, in politics, there's this thing at 50 plus one. Mm. They don't have enough players. They don't make 50 plus one for them to be recognized. Mm. The, the, uh, the, the NSN or the PSL, mm. for uh, them to recognize uh, 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 SAFU, mm. SAFU must have enough players so the the agents mm. doesn't encourage the players to join the, the union. union you you you'd go to a player and say come join the union he's telling you no no let me go meet my agent who's making decisions who's the boss so players they they prefer not to be part of the union and rather focus on agent exactly but the very same agents in the long run they are failing them they're failing them because uh, the play, you know what's with uh, uh, agents they've got categories there's a b and c mm. players a players are those who are playing in Europe. Mm. B is those ones who are on top in the country. Mm. And the C is yeah, your ordinary players. That's mm. how they categorize players. Uh, the A players, they will be sent flowers, uh, bottle of champagne, happy birthday, what, 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 you know? Mm. And uh, the B players, yes, they will be treated likewise. and. Uh, they can call the, the, the office of uh, the agent that, hey, my child is sick and I've got to go somewhere. Can you please find somebody to drive my wife to with the child to, to, the, to doctor. the doctor? And that will be done. Hmm. But, but that is only been done when you are at your peak. A and B. A and B. When you are at C, hmm. uh, even the SMS just to say, happy birthday. You won't get. You won't. I worked for uh, Mike McCabe. Mm. As an agent, after I retired, mm. I worked for him. Mm. I know how these things are done. I know, I know everything. I know how these young boys are captured. Mm. I know, I know the development coaches from teams who are having these uh, agreements. Mm. You are pushed mm. to a certain agent mm. to say sign with this agent. Sign with this agent, and they're making us if these guys are presenting, but. At the end of the day, you are going to sign. Mm. Because you are a young boy, the head coach of the development is telling you, these guys are good, you know. Mm. They helped so and so. So you'd want to be like that other guy. Then you sign. And, and what's this uh, uh, issue of saying sometimes agents push coaches to play their players even if they are not performing? The same applies. They get call-ups to Bafana so that they can market them. They can go abroad, yes. Mm. You, you know, there's countries that you just uh, you, you just don't play like uh, in England. Mm. You see how Pace was struggling to to join uh, mm. the, the team because he didn't have a certain number of uh, games oh. that mm. these guys are looking for. Mm. So agents would would pay coaches. Mm. Sometimes you find the same coach is in the same stable. So the agent is managing the, the coach. Agent is managing players. the coach and the player. So there must be some agreement. Exactly. Mm. And there's uh, this uh, collusion. Mm. The, the the agent will uh, collude with the coach. Mm. I'm bringing players. We're going 50-50. You sign them. You know, things mm. like those. That's why our football is where it is today. It's not about the performance or the brilliance of the player. It's about money. Mm. Even at the development. The mm. boys who are in the development teams, they are coming from the rich families. The, uh, these guys from like rural areas mm. who are so talented. They, they don't get to be in the system because they don't have money they to don't push. have money to push these things mm. you know and and what suffers role then in this whole thing suffer mm. what is suffer football association where does it exist this day is nasdaq nice building next no door. yes the building is i know they all oh, the building <laughs> the building cannot do anything yeah. the building i know that one next to fnb i yeah. know that building that's rich in suffer Mm. I see people going in and out with suits there. I don't know what these people are doing. I don't know. I think maybe they're having meetings. 
Those guys are just there, they write rules, they write visions, and they don't do anything. Mm. They just there to write. They go, they write, they write, but they don't practice what they write. I mean, those people are useless. Like, they are useless. Safa is useless. They're not doing anything. They are not, they, they can't put their foot down and say, PSL, do this. PSL is richer than Saf. So, why, why would PSL listen to Saf? What is that Saf has given to PSL? Mm. So what is it that Safa must do to be an active player? Because we can't continue to talk about the same thing. He played football, he wasn't paid enough, agents did this, and, and so on. What is it that Safa? Those things that the union is fighting for, they should be, Safa must be the one who is advocating for them. Making sure that the club bosses are getting their share, fair share, and the players are getting their fair share. When you talk of a mother, you know, that's why they are saying mother body. Mm. They didn't say father body because, you know, fathers sometimes we offer them mm. mother. Mm. At Safa, it's, it's father body of South African football. Mm. You know, sometimes they lose timing. They don't have that. Uh, mm. Safa would always want to handle the other side. They don't want to be hurt. They don't want to be hurt. You know, they want to. To be friends, yeah, we, they want to do things, mm. you know, and it's not working because they are killing uh, our football. Mm. They are killing our football. They, there's people there who doesn't know, people who are there, they like, how to span? They don't know what they're doing. Mm. If those people have to span, why did Bafana Bafana dance? Or, hey, we have qualified, can't they? They, are not, they were not qualified. Mm. They were given the wrong information. So the wrong people are running our football. So now, let's get back to the teams again. Okay. There is this perception that if you play for a big team, by default, you have, you have been paid well. And it, it, I, I see it also applies in terms of the legions. Most of the time, it's legions who played for the so-called big three that are recognized when there are anything happening. Is, is it happening or is it it's just a perception also? No, big teams don't pay well. All the teams are paying equal. Mm. If big teams are paying, why are they telling us of the highest paid player? Mm. Why are they not telling us of the lowest paid player? Mm. If you're looking after the vulnerables, you, we, we wouldn't care, worry. The ones on top, what are they doing? Then those, it means those ones are sitting their laurels. Mm. Take care of, the, tell us how much you're paying uh, uh, the lowest. The younger ones? Yes. Tell us that. That's what we want to hear. We don't want to hear the highest mm. because now it, it it might be that you are taking from this one and that one you put together so that that one can be happy you know mm. the, it, there's no logic in paying somebody four hundred and fifty thousand and somebody is getting four thousand five hundred mm. what is that are we playing football with qualifications now is that one has got doctrines and degree whatever they call it and that one doesn't have metric that's why is paid less. Exactly. We are playing the same team. There must be, uh, 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 you know, like I'm saying, Safa should be saying, guys, professional footballers are paid minimum mm. this much. Mm. Then the, the the lower level, like your led Africa, this this is the minimum. This is you can keep it is fine. But let us know. Let us fix here mm. on the ground. And, and how do you feel in a situation where you, you played football, you turned pro in the 90s, but do you still think it's acceptable now a professional soccer player playing for a team, being on TV Wednesday, Saturday, but this same player doesn't even have a car. Not that he doesn't want a car or he's sorting other things at home. He's just not being paid enough to even buy a car. To make matters worse, the company's been sponsored by a certain car brand, but you've got players who are not driving in the team. And you know what? The, the, the saddest thing is the team has got sponsorship. Somebody is sponsoring them with the cars. Mm. And these cars are not given to the players. Mm. They are driven by the management and the administrator. Mm. This company B comes to you, they say, we want to give you a car. Mm. The team says, no, 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 no. It will be the conflict of interest. We have been A mm. who are giving us cars and all that. You can't be having that. But they are not giving you the car. Mm. That's why I see, I, I, I say these uh, 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 guys are, they are taking us for a ride. They are taking us for granted. 
Number one, you must know. Uh, if I own a team, I don't want my child to work for another team. Why? Why uh, uh, these people are hiring their kids? Why are they not they saying, I go to the other team, go to Gold Cup, mm. go to uh, uh, FNB, go to whatever? They don't. They hire their kids. They put them here close, even when they play. Mm. They don't want them to play for they other teams. They don't want them to play for other teams. Is it because of they know how they treat? It's because they know they are ruthless. They don't care about the lifestyle footballers. Mm. They don't care. You, you played for Supersport. Supersport is always associated with DSTV and, and, and packages. Were you sponsored with uh, DSTV and subscription for free? I played for Supersport for eight years. Mm. And for that eight years, I was playing subscription. Look. And sometimes we would be, I remember we were playing with uh, uh, the kid. Our kid was written DSTV. Mm. We were not given decoders. Even to be given a decoder just to say, take your sort your own subscription. Ex Look, these people, I, I just want to tell you, I will show you these people are, 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 are making a, a fool of uh, uh, players. They say, go to school. They are saying to us, go to school so that you have something to fall back on. Mm. Now, why should I go to school as I'm working? Mm. I'm working, I'm getting paid. Mm. Why do you want me to go to school? I think you must give me financial education. Mm. So that when I get this money, I know how to use money. That's what I want. I went to school. I did TV broadcast. Mm. I, I played for Super Sport United. What a blessing. Mm. Where am I today? Am I waking it? Anyway, it looks uh, to cameras. Right? And you know what's worse? No. I played for Super Sports for eight years. Mm. Look, I have nothing against Jabu Pool. I have nothing. I, I played with him. I love him. He's a good guy. Mm. Ne? He's lucky. Ne? Mm. He's... An ambassador for Super Sport United. Mm. How long has he played for it? What is that? What is that? That's an insult. Mm. I have like diploma in TV broadcast. Mm. Why am I not working for Super Sport? Good question. Exactly. What? What must I produce? What must I produce beyond my qualification? Mm. What must I produce? And you are not saying I played for you. You're saying I played and I've got the qualification. They relevant. know. And they know. I told them. They know. I went there a hundred times. Mm. But nobody's listening. When you talk to Stan Matthew, Stan, this, that, is the director of football. He'll tell you, no, I, I don't have anything to do with football. Andre Ransom played one year. Mm. In his contract, he was told that, no, no, you'll work at uh, uh, uh. Super sports, you'll be an analyst, you'll be this, you'll be that. After retirement. After retirement. He played not for two years. Do these four former teams even care? Like when they've got activities in your areas, do they even invite you just to show appreciation? No, you just hear from people telling you, hey, super sport is good. Super sport, they, they had this, um, it was this term, Squas Don Sharp. But there's, uh, uh, but this has to lots of football. Like there was one in Sosolbeck. Mm. In the Val, we are three maybe. Mm. Hey, a former footballer, uh, uh, former footballers, the super sport. Mm. We didn't know. We were not told. Last week or two weeks back, mm. there was something go Everton Mall. Mm. Super sports, uh, schools, what that side by side in. I didn't know about that. You are not invited. Somebody told me, hey, this guy say they say they, they know you are here. They want to meet you. I nearly said something, but I said, ah, no, it's not worth it. Yeah. Like it's a mic, you fall, like what I need to span it, and you shame a lot. But what about that? Because, they, I, look, it caught a caught eye. If they don't care about me, I don't care about them. Mm. I don't care about them. They didn't make me. Yeah. And I didn't make them. So I'll live my life, they want to live it, they'll live the way they want to live. I told Stanley Matthews to understand, you know what, I'm, I'm not working, man. Mm. It's tough. It's been like two years. He asked me, how long have you not been? I said, two years. Said, you know how, how, how long uh, my father is, uh, 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 hasn't been working? Yeah. Five years. He's telling me about his father. Did his father play for Super Sport? So when you tell me you haven't been working for two years, he's saying his father hasn't been working yeah, for five years. Yeah, I said, years. no, me, yeah, you are better. My father is, is, hasn't been working for the past five years. You are better. Hmm. 
you know so what can you say so so fire this football thing looks good on tv when you guys are playing and cameras are on you but as soon as they switch off basically there is a problem and it's hating. The 90 minutes, you enjoy the 90 minutes. In football, the only thing that you enjoy is the 90 minutes. Mm. But after 90 minutes, reality hits back. Now you are living the real life now. Now you, you understand, you know what? A year I'm alone. Mm. And you lose one game, the office, the whole office comes down, they tell you this, you tell, but you don't have the, 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 the rain, uh, and pens. Nobody says anything to you. You lose one game, you are you are in trouble. You are in trouble. You are in trouble. You don't have to lose against the so-called big teams, Chiefs, Pirates. You don't lose against those teams. You know why? Because they 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 kill the support of that team. Day. Mm. You know, when I want to go to play for Chiefs, I don't want to lose against Chiefs. So, but they respect these teams more than their teams, their own teams. You're running this team, Team A, but you are a supporter of Team A. Mm. That's what happened. So, if you get beaten by the so-called big three, it's even worse. It's worse. The meeting. You rather lose to your same. You have a meeting for three years. Because meeting. you lost to the big one. Yeah, you've lost a big game. What, what, what? what? But when you win, do they give you something for winning against the big no. one, special? No. And it's three points. Mm. All the games, three mm. points, but they treating the games different. When you play against Chiefs, Pirates, Unknowns, and Swallows, then, back mm. then, you would feel oh, hey, there's a game coming, you know, there's a game coming. Mm. But when you're playing other teams, Free State Stars, yeah, so what? Mm. Mm. And now, uh, how do you guys handle the, the township talk? Because when you play football, you'll stay wherever close to where your team is, say you're in Pretoria and whatnot. But as soon as curtains go down, you are no longer playing. You now have to decide, am I still able to maintain this lifestyle because the money is no longer coming like it was coming. Now you have to go back township or home. When you get a case, how do you handle the talks? Because people will always talk. Mm. Like you say, once you see somebody on TV, you already think he's rich, he's got money, all that. When you get back to the township, how do you deal with this thing, Wuti? Yeah, eh, Asana Zaka, no, hey, what, mm. what? As if they've seen that money before showing it off or something. If I want to adjust back to say, you will hire now after 10 years of being away, because it's not everybody who managed to stay away even uh, um, uh, if, if we were to start picking players who, after playing football, they are still staying where they were staying when they were playing. Mm. It's, 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 there are few. Very few. I think there's no player who's played in South Africa. Mm. Who's got a house, mm. a car, the kids are going to school, everything is fine. Nah, hey, hey, hey. He must have went out of the country and come back. Yeah. Like you play in South Africa only uh. before 2010. Yes. Aye. Aye, there's no player. If you say there's one player, you'll be like. Yeah. You'll have to scratch to find one. No, no. If you find, you'll find one. Yeah. From 1960 mm. until 2009, mm. you'll find one or two. And you'll have to think, dig deep. Yeah. Now that is, that shows you, mm. or a football, it's it's it's, it's a case. Mm. You know, we were sitting with the guys and saying, "What's our how do we are a We are scholars of poverty. Because mm. when you come out of football, it's like we not just sheltered people. We have a one point. I do. I do. Like how fit are guys? See, people are talking this and that, and it. Because if I come to a at least you must yeah. know your story mm. because there's no need for you to lock yourself mm. it means then it should go to then i'm still on top at least mm. when i'm to look at fast mm. one understand mm. and you, you 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 need to come out and fend for yourself because now how do you feel like it's it's getting worse? You are giving more. You are giving them more stories now to tell. Mm -hmm. You know, but to how some and get some other train. It's my life. From driving a car. From driving golf for a car now we a blind. Yeah, the ring. Yeah, the lights. Never talk about the lights. Yeah, the brick and so. 
Kia fai. Ya, kia fai. Bola icha ya golf ili ona ya zama. Obviously, like you know, uh, in but but that's about all You pay a bond for somebody would compare you a footballer. Why was that true? Ah, we could not afford three thousand. We could not afford to na kweka idi kichini. Hmm. Na kila na bolu na kweka. Even if I can play for eight years, hmm. ne? Hmm. You say deciding one fee is a mess. Number one, it's when you get paid as a black person, not to be some black tax. Hmm. And the first thing that you do, who looks at him? Hmm. You know, tell me how many paid do you want to do the outside room? When Albana buy him, I want to get a school. Learn an Albana car. Madam Sad. Hmm. Papa, now you serving the clothes are paid at the same time. I give a little relative. You, I want to leave. You are the first person to know. They hmm. call you. So it's it's it becomes very difficult. You play for you sign three years. You play one year. You get injured. They fire you for two years. You don't have an income. Hmm. Who's paying the bond? Who's paying for the car? Unkuno anza pata na bond ya hiye. We na uye. So you see the difference. That is yeah. the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you, you, you've got this short time to finish so many things and it's like at once. Yeah. At once. And when I say someone said you crop up along the way. Mm. And when we have a life to live. Yes. And and as we, we as we said earlier, you don't start on a high salary outright. Exactly. By by the time you start earning better, you are towards the end. Because another in South Africa, the other issue, once you are 30 plus. Yeah. It's a problem. No, no. Even if you are 16 plus. Mm. When you are young, it's ah, you are young, you can't get paid. You are young. When you are old, no, you can't pay you, you are old. Who is getting paid? When are you getting paid? Exactly. When? When you are young, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You are young. When you are 30 and ah, you are old. We, you, don't, you are not an investment. Mm. Who is the investment now? Mm. So now, in in a nutshell now in closing peter what would you say football gave you and what it took from you if you are comparing what football gave you versus what it took away from you would you say you could have opted for something else go to school be a teacher have a guaranteed salary even if it's small or whatever would you say football did you justice as much as you did justice to football in terms of playing look um if if i have to be positive like mm. Now I'm one person who doesn't lose. Mm. I learn. Football took my time, mm. a lot of time. If I can count the minutes that football took, mm. and I, I was not doing anything for myself of my life, mm. I gave to football. I could have been somewhere. I could have. I wanted to be a lawyer. I mm. I wanted to be a teacher. I I had money to go register at Bonamir mm. in Kwaku. To be a teacher, and there were there were trials. Like I told before, I played for Pretoria Kilis. Mm. There were trials in Pretoria. I sacrificed to be a teacher, and went to the trial. So football, you no, know, it, it will it will give you stress. It will take your time, and it will give you enemies because everybody who loved you becomes your enemy after football. Mm. And uh, people at home, they know we are enemy. Mm. Two hundred thousand, hundred and fifty out of Europa. Can I go? You are earning less than. Aksoka uh, kholasa ni one fee fitang twenty thousand. Aksoka kholasa salary fitang twenty thousand. In football. In football. Hmm. Tuwa pete for bafana bafana. I've never. Asang atura shilte fitang twenty thousand. Playing for the country. Safari ano buanga yon. Yo na yon. He didn't give me more than twenty thousand. So at the time when you were playing, what was the allowance as for a camp? Away or home? How how were they structuring it? When we were at camp, we were given one thousand five hundred. Mm. You use it per for day? seven days. Mm. Seven days. Yeah. For a time for this and this. One thousand five. Mm. Yeah. And uh, you know, Africans do not recognize Africa. They don't care. Why I'm saying that? You know, you know, for playing Kosafa, for playing um, Champions League, I've gone. Mm. There's no money. 
they pay you well when you are playing the World Cup, this and that, that. you know. Mm. We should be embracing these, these ones at home and saying, no, 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 no. These ones are also important. Mm. Because, I mean, between me and you, grade one is more important than grade 10. Yeah, of course, that's basic. If you are good, mm. La, mm. grade one, two, you are okay. You are just going to cruise grade 11 and 12. Mm -hmm. But these people, they're focusing on the World Cup and they are not focusing on the Costa Rica Cup. What is that? So that's the, that was the 1.5 for seven days. But should you win or throw, you will get something more. Yeah, you get something. You get. Like, I, I played, I think for us, when we won the Costa Rica, I was in the first team that won the Costa Rica Cup. Mm -hmm. For all those games, I got 10 collapse, 10, I think, mm -hmm. for Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. So it means it's 10 or more games. Mm -hmm. I got 14,000. Hmm. Yeah. It was a struggle. That is suffer. Yeah. Okay, I'm not talking... I'm Club talking level. Yeah. We're talking mother... I'm, we're mother. Talking, I'm mother. talking about the father boot. Yeah. Yeah. The father boot he gave me there. So, Peter, you've, you've, you've said a mouthful fire. So tell me, what, what current projects are you busy with, foundations, or whatever that you are busy with that you want people to know, and how can they assist the way they can if there's any support that you might need with what you're doing? No, no, one thing I'm doing now, one of the things that I'm doing, I'm, I'm advocating for a Val football legend. Mm. I, I, I want them to be recognized. They, they, they were in a struggle of their own. They fought for uh, this regime. They put it where it is today. They, people know that there's Val uh, because of Aaron Mukwena, the most kept individual uh, 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 in Bafana Bafana. Mm -hmm. The most kept captain, the most kept player, the most disciplined player. He was given the freedom of London, but he was not given the freedom of Bupato mm -hmm. So I'm pushing that now. We have having Val Legend, uh, Val Football Legends. It's a team. We're playing, we're also doing social responsibilities. And the, the, the main reason is uh, for, for us to, to gather or to have this association is I want us to help one another. If one has got a business, we make sure we promote his business. Uh, we push uh, uh, his business to uh, another level. When we have a foundation, you call us. When we're having activities, we come. We do social responsibilities together. We are building a profile, you know. But now my goal is to see uh, 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 our municipality rewarding us somehow and saying, guys, uh, Thank you and well done for representing us. This is what we are giving a U.S. Uh, uh, Val Legends. They must give us jobs. I know we're not educated, we are employ uh, unemployable, but we can be employed. Mm -hmm. Look, if you're saying I must look after a class, you ask me or a level a winter summer you know, I know all these things because I played. Mm -hmm. uh, football, I know about the dressing room. Uh, I can, you know, maintenance. And not everybody. Some of us, yes, they went to school, they can do this and that. You mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. Yes, we've got players with at least metric diplomas. Mm -hmm. You know? So, this, this is what I'm busy with now. For no, no. Uh, give us what belongs to us. Okay. No, thank you very much, Fire. Um, send us those invites when the Legends play because I believe they also play some games on weekends and they do travel. We will also try to advocate that sometimes you must be invited, not only play in the van, because uh, sometimes it helps just go out there, people see you that you are still playing. And uh, we wish you all the best and thank you very much for joining us on our show today. No, thanks for uh, inviting me. It's been long since I've been on TV. So these cameras, I think I have, I miss them so much. And they miss me too. Yeah. You know? I can see. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Fire. No, thanks. Okay, that was uh, Fire, one of the Val Legends. And it's a wrap for today. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment on our videos so that you catch the next episode. We will be back and be on the lookout for the next episode. This is me, TK, signing off. Thank you very much.